<clears throat> so I went into the Situation Room and got briefed by uh, Dick Clark. And then he said, you've got to be in the PIOC. I said, what's the PIOC? He said, that's the Presidential Emergency Operations Center. And I said, I have no idea where that is. And there was a Secret Service agent standing there. He says, I'll take you over right away. So <clears throat> we went over there. And uh, when I got there, uh, the vice president uh, was there. And this is the bunker that's under the, under the White House, way under the White House. So <clears throat> uh, there's a long conference table, probably oh, 20 feet, 25 feet, and about um, eight feet wide. And between each of the seats, there's a phone here. So with this phone, I set up a line to the to my office, and this one to the operations center at the FAA, and just kept them open all day long. And uh, so trying to assess what was going on. <clears throat> and uh, at that point, um, the... Um, Two planes had gone into the World Trade Center in New York. And uh, then uh, <clears throat> there was a young man who came in, told the vice president there was a plane coming down river. So with the phone on the right, I said uh, to Monty Belger, the deputy administrator of uh, FAA, I said, Monty, what do you have on, <clears throat> on radar? He said, we have a target but the transponder's been turned off, so we don't know what the plane is, what altitude, uh, we don't know anything about the plane, speed or anything. So I said, well, where is it? He said, well, it's, he said it's roughly in the Great Falls area. <clears throat> and um, so then as the plane progressed closer in, <clears throat> then this young man would come in and inform the vice president where the plane was. So I'd say, Monty, where's the plane now? And he said, well, it's somewhere between uh, Roslyn <clears throat> and uh, DCA, National Airport. Then all of a sudden he said, uh-oh, we just lost the target. I said, where'd you lose the target? He said, somewhere between <clears throat> Pentagon City and uh, National Airport. And about that time, someone broke into the conversation and said, uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, we've just gotten word from uh, an Arlington County police officer saying that he saw an American Airlines go into the Pentagon. Well, <clears throat> when you see one of something happen, it's an accident. When you see two of the same thing happen, it's a trend. But when you see three of the same things happen in a very short period of time, then it's a plan. And so I said to Monty uh, Belger, I said, Monty, look, we've got these airplanes that are, are uh, un not unidentified, uh, unaccounted for. And we had maybe seven or 10 unaccounted for airplanes at that time. And we didn't know what was going on. So I said, Monty, bring them all down. And he said, we'll bring them all down per pilot discretion. And I said, screw pilot discretion, bring them all down. Because I didn't want to pilot over, let's say, Kansas, thinking, I want to sleep in my own bed. I'm heading for LA. I'm going to fly on to LA. I want to get all the planes down <clears throat> so we could start put, putting all the pieces together. So. With the skills of the air traffic controllers and the professionalism of the <clears throat> flight deck crews and the cabin attendants, um, we had uh, 4,638 airplanes in the air at the time. And in something like two hours and 20 minutes, they were able to bring them all down safely and without any incident. 